Hola, J Rockers! If you've come here, you've come for some good news, including the big announcement of Kiryu, the status of Danger Gang, and I guess to introduce yourself to Selm, if that's their name, or Selm. Let's get to what everybody's been wanting to know. It is Kiryu. Um, as I announced on my January J Rock Apocalypse video, they said that Kiryu is not Kiryu without all the members, and one member was crying. Um, but they wouldn't make the announcement until March 2nd, the evil people. But now, it is past March 2nd, so the announcement has been made. So what is their announcement? The announcement is... They were trolling! I think. Maybe it was just bad fan accounts of like a member crying. Maybe he was wiping sweat from his eyes, but it's all good news. Kitty is staying together. Yay, because I actually like them. And not only are they staying together, but they're releasing a third album on April 25th titled Shungansen. Um, and they're also going on a nationwide tour in Japan and doing 50 lives. Holy crap. They totally fooled us. And I feel kind of silly now because they, they, they totally fooled us. It's just a huge tour and an album. Hey guys, we're not going to tell you this for a little while. And we're going to say that Kiryu is not Kiryu without all five members on this album. So you got us, guys. Haha, <laughs> very funny. And here's a new look for you. So I'm not really a huge fan of J-Rock girl groups. I am a fan of like J-Rock groups with girl singer. I don't know. I just don't like the girl screaming, raw stuff. But I don't like that with boys either. I don't know. I'm just strange. But anyway, I know that there are a lot of hardcore fans of Danger Gang. And last year, fans were sort of left on edge because two of the members, the bassist Thera and the drummer Ray, left. But there is good news. Not only is Danger Gang back with new looks, but they are also back with two new members. The new members are bassist Mizuki and drummer Ren. Um, they've also made a, a nice update to their schedule of a bunch of new lives starting on March 11th at... Urawa Narciss and going until May 30th ending at Uwara Narciss and there's been like no there's been no announcement for if they're going to release something new but I think it's just so the two new members can sort of get like their claws into the danger game business and so they're just getting you know and they're also getting their fans familiar with the new people the new kids at school so that's really good and it seems like the two members visually they fit in flawlessly with danger game's whole look <laughs> I'm really happy because they're a clear niche in the J-Rock scene. Like, they have a big in impact on the J-Rock scene, proving that, you know, girls can do it just as well as guys. And what girl doesn't want to see a girl do something as well as a guy? And finally, after the departures of vocalist Tora and guitarist Nagi on April 17, 2011, Selm or Selum, it's, you see it, you'll, you'll know, um, will resume activities at their May 6th live with a new guitarist and vocalist. The two new members appear to be vocalist Ryuga X Velours and guitarist John X Tokyo Heroes. Um, but it's not been yet confirmed, but I guess the fact of them coming back together is really good, especially after two member losses in a, a year apart, so... Good for you guys, even though you're all shadowy. Good for you. Alright, unfortunately that's all the good news I have today, but with the Kiryu thing having gone on for over a month, I think people are just as relieved as I am, knowing that not only are they not breaking up, but they're just spoiling us, which is awesome. So, um, And I hope you guys enjoyed this slice of good news, knowing that J-Rock isn't all doom, gloom, and the impending ap apocalypse. There can be some good, good gifts that just take a little while to come up. So I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you think of this, you know, this new kind of positive-ish segment on J-Rock. And yeah, let me know. And have a good day. Bye.